Hi, my name is Dr. Harsha Bharadwaj. All of you guys might have heard about mucormycosis, that is black fungus, in the last few days. And now the government is trying to declare it as an epidemic. But today there is some other news. There have been four cases of white fungus reported from Patna, Bihar among COVID-19 patients. Now, before we get into it, first thing that we need to clarify is, even in this case, the name of the fungus is not white fungus. It is actually called Candida. And the infection that it causes is called as Candidiasis. This is not a new fungus and we have been dealing with this from a long time. In this video, we shall discuss the different types of Candida, how it spreads, the infections it causes, how to detect it and the treatment including the outcome. First, there are many different types of Candida, but the most common one that causes infection in human beings is known as Candida albicans. In recent years, there has been an increase in another species called as Candida auris, and this is significant because this is resistant to most of the drugs that we use. Coming to transmission, Candida normally live on our body and most of the infections are caused by uncontrolled growth of these fungi. But Infection can be transmitted from one person to another either through direct contact or through hands of a healthcare provider or through medical devices. The usual sites that these organisms are present are the skin, mouth, gut and the vagina, but they normally do not cause any problems. When a person is immunocompromised, that is his immune system is damaged, then this fungus can grow uncontrolled mainly in the skin and in the mouth. In case of COVID, both the disease itself and the steroids used as treatment can suppress the immune system. Oral candidiasis leads to white patches inside the mouth, throat and loss of taste and it also causes difficulty in swallowing. If it progresses to involve even the esophagus, then the person might, if, might have severe pain during swallowing and might not be able to eat at all. In more severe cases, this fungus can infect the blood and through blood it can almost infect any organ in the whole body including the lung where it causes severe pneumonia that can look very similar to pneumonia in COVID and also heart, brain, liver etc can be involved and can lead to multi-organ failure. This severe type of candidiasis is called as invasive candidiasis and common symptoms include fever, chills and they do not improve with antibiotic treatment. The diagnosis is done by taking a thorough history and a clinical examination of the patient. Along with this, some investigations are also done. A blood culture wherein a blood is taken from the patient and it is gone on a culture plate to see whether the fungus grows or not. Similarly, in case of oral candidiasis, an oral swab is taken and cultured and in other situations, a sample is collected as per the site infected and cultured. Also, the sample can be examined under a microscope to check for candida. Now, let's move on to the treatment of candidiasis. The main drug used in the treatment of candidiasis is fluconazole. In very severe cases, echinocandin is recommended. Other drugs include voriconazole and amphotericin B. If only oral candidiasis is present, then local application of clotrimazole or nistatin can also be tried. This infection can be prevented by good hand hygiene practices and in some situations when the patient is in the ICU for a long time or on multiple antibiotics, then prophylactic antifungal treatment with fluconazole can also be tried. Don't get frightened looking at the news, which is just trying to scare people without mentioning any facts. Though Canada can cause a variety of severe infections, there are treatment options available and if started at the right time, we can expect recovery. Hope you like this video and please do share it amongst others. This information could be useful to others also. Thank you and have a great day.